last thing, Canelo versus Triple G, the rematch. Probably if I can get your thoughts on it. Um, I think it's gonna be a fun fight. I think GGG won the first fight, but I think Canelo comported himself well. I don't think you can make it really a case for Canelo winning that first fight unless you're really a Canelo fan or you thought he was gonna win before the fight or you were hoping to win before the fight, so you're looking for any reason to give him a round because you, you guys to actually win a round. You can't just go by, okay, you're looking for anything. Look for one reason to give him a round. Okay, I found it. I'm gonna give it to him because then you're gonna find a reason to, you know? I think at the end of the day, it's a good fight. It's a fun fight. The first one was fun. I think the second fight will be fun as well. What are the keys to victory for Canelo? Um, I think he's just gotta stop that GGG momentum. You know what I'm saying? He's gotta, Golovkin has a forward momentum that he just gets comfortable walking guys down and guys let him get comfortable because he's so strong. They don't wanna, they don't wanna stop him from coming forward and they don't want, they don't wanna, they don't wanna, they don't wanna, they don't wanna, um, they don't wanna get in his, get in his face and exchange with him too much. So they, they give up ground. They give ground before you know what you're giving up too much ground, you know? And I think that's where, you know, that, that's a, that, that became the case for GGG and Canelo. The one thing you notice in that fight though, you know, GGG usually cuts the ring off very well. He was not cutting the ring off. Canelo was able to circle the entire ring consistently. Why is that? Because GGG was respecting Canelo's left hook, you know? So he wasn't really stepping over to his right, which would be to Canelo's left as he cut him off. So Canelo always had that opening to walk from one corner to the other corner to the other corner, always says left. GGG never allows you that luxury. Every every other fighter he fights, he's cutting them off so well that they have no choice but to fight and get into exchanges and Golovkin's, and, and Golovkin's obviously hurting them more. But Golovkin has so much respect for Canelo's left hook, he was allowing him to walk uh, consistently backwards and giving him the exit route every time to the left. Still, to me, Golovkin still got off better punches, still landed the better shots, but it allowed Canelo to have that little escape to survive here and there, and then in, those, in the midst of those survivals here and there, he was able to land some good shots as well, you know, and make the fight fun. So, so I, I think that's a, you know, you have to look really between the lines there, you know. Uh, I think Golovkin will bring the pressure, um, but I think Golovkin has to figure out a way to cut the ring off on Canelo a bit better to the right without paying the price with Canelo's left hook. I don't know if that's even possible because, you know, maybe that's the, way you, that's, the way, that's the way you approach that fight. Maybe you just don't go, don't step over to your right to, which is to Canelo's left because you don't want to even risk him throwing that shot, you know? But either way, this is the chess match that is a fight of two, two fighters on such a high level and, and, and that's what's enjoyable about watching it for somebody like me just trying to break that down and looking for those little keys to victory. Do you have a prediction for who's going to win the rematch? Um, I still angle towards uh, Golovkin. You know, I still think it's going to be a good fight. Um, you know what? I still think, regardless of who wins it, you can even make a third fight. You know, I think it's a it's a good, it's a good fight. Um, I think it's a money fight for everybody, so everybody can be happy. Um, but there's also other middleweights that you want to start seeing in the mix. You know, I'd love to see Billy Joe Saunders in the ring with any of them. I'd love to see Jamal Charlo in the ring with any of them. I'd love to see Jane Jacobs in the ring with any of them, even though we've seen him in with Golovkin already. You know, I, I think the middleweight division is um, getting getting fun. You know what I mean? You, a couple of years ago, maybe you just had one or two guys. Now you have about five. Or, now you got about five or six guys that you'd love to see matched up against each other. So uh, I think. Um, I think it's really uh, a lot of possibilities there, but of course, you know, Golovkin and Canelo is, uh, is still a fight that people are going to want to watch, and I think even after this fight, you might be able to still make another fight. Paul, thank you for your time. I appreciate you as always.